In this video, I'm going to be giving you a beginner's guide into video resolution and video bitrate. By the way, if you're new here, then hello, my name is Kelsey and I make content based around video production, video editing and all things about being a creative freelancer. So subscribe if you want to see more content based around those topics. Now, first things first, in order to understand a video bitrate, then you need to understand video resolution. Video resolution refers to the width and the height of your video and it is typically measured in pixels. It is normally expressed in either a two-dimensional number, such as 1920 by 1080. Remember that width always comes first in these numerical sort of formulas, or in a simplified form, just as the height, such as 1080. This means in a 1920 by 1080 setting, it is 1920 pixels wide and 1080 pixels high. Now here is a table of all of the most common resolutions that you will find in the film and video world. And as you can see, 1080p refers to full HD and then 2160 refers to 4K film. And you can also view these resolutions on this video that you're watching here, because in this clog, you'll probably see it down here, um, you can see that you can stream this video in different types of resolutions, 4K being the highest quality and then 320 being the lowest quality. So much so that you probably can't even see my face. I mean, if you click on that one, I'm probably just a bunch of blurry pixels. So in general, the higher the video resolution, the higher the bitrate you will require to make sure that your video looks good across your different audience devices. So you're probably thinking, what even is video bitrate? Well, every single second of a video that you watch is packed with digital information. It could be a lot of information, like a 4K quality footage, or it could be less information, such as live streaming on social media through your mobile phone. Now, those two different types of videos have very different amounts of data in them, which is why when you watch them, they'll look visibly different. One will be better quality and the other one won't be. The amount of information per second of a video is known as bitrate. And bitrate is the amount of data that is encoded in every single second of your video. However, it is important to note that not all cameras shoot at the same bit rate. And this is why a GoPro video will look different to a DSLR or a cinema camera. Despite being shot at the same resolution, they'll all have different bit rates. So here is an example of two of the same shot, which have both been shot at the same resolution, which is 1920 by 1080, but they differ in bit rate. And you can probably see that one appears a lot more slow and pixelated, and the other one looks more defined and higher quality. Now this is all down to the video bitrate in each clip. So bitrate is measured through bits per second and it also determines the size and the quality of your video or audio file. Therefore, the higher the bitrate, the better quality and larger file size you'll also get. And this is because the file size is equal to bitrate times duration. So knowing how bitrate is measured can also help you make judgments on what bitrate you should encode at for your separate videos. Now, when you go to export your video, you may notice that there are two different forms of bitrate that you can encode at, especially if you're doing it manually. And these two different forms will be CBR, which stands for constant bitrate and VBR, which stands for variable bitrate. Now CBR or constant bit rate means that your video will encode constantly at the same certain bit rate, meaning that the bit rate will not vary based on the complexity of the motion in your video. Whereas VBR or variable bit rate means that your video will vary in bit rate depending on what's going on screen. So for more heavier edited sections of your video, then your editing interface will opt to use the maximum amount of bit rate that you've set to it. Whereas if it's just a blank screen, then your editing interface will use a minimum amount of bit rate that you set it to, meaning that your video is overall more optimized. Now, if you want the highest possible quality for your video, then I would suggest adjusting the bit rate forms for your video just so that you can get the best outcome. Now, there isn't necessarily a guideline of when to use CBR or VBR, but as a general rule of thumb, I normally use CBR for more live streaming work as the consistency for constant bitrate makes it more reliable for time sensitive data transport. Therefore, it is ideal for live streaming since most live videos are broadcasted at a single bitrate. Whereas I would use VBR, variable bitrate, for more generic social media use as it is a lot more optimised 
meaning that it's more efficient for social media use. Now, understanding all of this can be quite hard to get your head around, but putting it in place can be a completely different ball game. So here are some bitrate tips that you can use when you're in the editing process. Now, tip number one is to use your video editing interface presets when it comes to exporting and encoding your videos. Number two is investing in a good high spec durable computer. And now this is because if you're exporting at a higher bit rate, then it's going to take a lot more manpower for your hard drive to go through. So making sure that you have the hardware and the computer spec to deal with this is extremely important. Now, number three is that you need to make sure that you consider other factors of filming as well because although bitrate does help make a good quality video, it's only one part of the jigsaw puzzle. You should also consider factors such as resolution, frame rate, and other things such as that. So making sure that all of these little components work together will ultimately make sure that your video comes out the best possible quality it can do. And for all of the tech nerds out there, I've also linked in the description box below um, a link to a bitrate calculator. So if you want to go check that out, then you can manually um, adjust the figures so that you can calculate your own bitrate settings so you know what you should be encoding at. But there it is. There is a brief little summary of video resolution and video bitrate. Now I tried to keep this video as brief and as, as simplified as I could because I know this topic can be super complex. So I would suggest um, watching other videos and reading other articles because the more you research and the more you get to know this topic makes you understand it a little bit more. But if you have any questions based around the things that I've mentioned in this video, then comment below and I will try my best to try and help you guys out as well. And if you want to see more content based around video or editing and films and all that kind of spiel, then you can click somewhere on the screen and it will take you to my other videos as well. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then like the video, subscribe. You guys know the drill and I'll catch you whenever I decide to make another video. But until then, see ya.